Yo, what up, Alpha? It's Amir. Today we're talking about our hair. Particularly, this video is for guys like me and guys like you, aka guys with thin hair. And today I want to give you guys some tips on how you can exactly style it and also maintain your hair so that you have stronger, thicker, volumized, and better maintained hair or the best hairstyle possible for your hair type. So what the hell are we waiting for? Without any further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. The first and foremost tip starts in the shower, and that is the most common thing that we all do and that is shampooing your hair. How you shampoo your hair has a huge impact on how your hair grows, how your hair reacts, and how your hair naturally stabilizes itself against all the styling products you put into your head in order to style your hair. First thing, when you're shampooing, really get in there and apply firm pressure so you're getting into the roots and getting everything out of your pores. This will one, allow more hair follicles to grow, Two, it will also allow blood circulation which is gonna help thicken your current hair and as well as open up some more pores for, again, more hair growth, as well as giving you a deeper clean so that when you're applying that styling product, it allows the styling product to really go into your roots and give you maximum hold, maximum control, and the styling product can live up to its best potential, helping you style the hair in the way you like. Next up is using the right kind of shampoo. You don't wanna use shampoo you can find off your local Target and Walmart, which is like Pantene, Garnier, Spring Irish, all these mainstream brands, because those brands, their goal is to basically increase their profits and decrease their production costs. And in order for them to do that, they put shitty ingredients into their shampoo in order to just clean your hair, but not cleaning your hair in the right way that it needs to be clean. When the sacrifice in quality happens, it also sacrifices your hair quality as well, aka resulting in dry scalp, dandruff, hair falling out, and overall, it's just not good for the longevity of your hair. My favorite hair shampoo is this one called Revive My Hair by Pure Biology. This is the one that I use myself for a long time, and it has carotene, it's sulfate, and paraben-free, so it not only cleanses your hair the right way that it, your hair should be clean, but it also helps promote hair growth, and it's really just meant for guys who have thin to fine hair, so that it gives you the nice volume that you need in order to create the right style for yourself. All right, number two is conditioning your hair. It is just as important to condition your hair as it is to shampoo because when you are shampooing your hair, sure, even if it's a good shampoo, it will help you clean your hair in the right way, but it will still strip out the essential oils and the nutrients and all the natural stuff in your hair to help promote your hair growth. Shampoo will, will basically just take that out. But when you actually condition your hair, you actually restore all the natural nutrients and vitamins and all the basic good stuff that you need for your hair to fully nourish itself, to grow better, to be thicker, to be healthier, and overall just not dry out and thin out over time due to using, you know, shitty products. Alright, my third tip is using the right styling product. The thing with thin hair is that you can't use too much product and you can't use product that is heavy. For me, the biggest concern with all the hair products that I've used in the past is that I'll put them on, it will keep my hair in a certain way for a little bit, but then the problem is that over time it will just weigh down and my hair will literally go flat. There will be no volume, there will be no style, there will be no texture, nothing. Like my hair will just sit flat because the product is so heavy. If I can't use one product, that means I will have to use all these other products to kind of enhance that. So that means I'd be using sea salt spray, um, the pomade, the wax, the putty, and layering it all on top with a hairspray. And that is horrible for your hair because it is not letting your hair breathe. And if you're forcing your hairstyle, there are two things that might be happening. One, that might be not the right hairstyle for your hair type, or two, you're using the wrong product. After getting frustrated time upon time on how my hair reacts to the mainstream products that are out there, you know, I was just like, okay, this is just not working out, and I know I'm not the only one with this problem. So what I did is actually went ahead and created my own hair product. I have it on right now. This is literally the perfect thing I've ever, ever, ever used in my life. And I'm not even lying, like, there's no bias, nothing, like, I've used a lot of hair products in my life, but this, in my opinion, beats all of it. The reason why is it has a very light and flexible hold, and it's not so heavy on your hair where to the point where it just weighs it down. For me, it helps my hairstyle just stay up and nice with decent volume and provides me a good hold. And the best part about this Flux Pomade is that it is made out of a 100% organic extract, so when you're putting this in your hair, it's not only giving you the right style, the right control and volume, and all the goodies that you need for a good, 
healthy hairstyle, but it's also providing nourishment to your hair, so it is helping your hair volumize itself, be thicker, be healthier, be strong, and overall just training your hair to achieve its fullest potential. This right here is something I really cannot wait for all of you guys to try out. And this is me not even being biased because it's my product. I'm being completely honest, and if you think I'm lying, go ahead and give it a shot. More information about the pomade is gonna be in the description below, so you can go ahead and check it out, and let me know what you think about it. Fourth styling tip for thin hair is to keep it tight. That's one thing I do frequently myself and I highly recommend anyone who has thin hair or you know is even balding because this trick gives it a nice little illusion that you know you have good hair. What I do is I just get a zero low fade and then I just fade it up to a one and a half. Keeping your sides tight is a nice little hack that you can do in order to create an illusion that your hair is thicker than it actually is. The reason why is when your hair grows out on the side for guys who are thinning they're mainly going to be thinning on top. If you let your sides grow out and these are thick and your top hair is thin, it's automatically going to make your hair look even thinner because you're going to be having thick hair on the side and thin hair on top, which is going to look kind of goofy in the first place. And secondly, it's just really good for styling because it takes the attention away from the actual scalp on wherever you're balding and the attention actually goes to your nice little fade. So when you walk into a room, people are not going to be looking at your bald head or people are not going to be calling you out on, you know, oh, you're losing hair or oh, what are you doing about this? Oh, oh you're getting old. And instead, they're going to be focused on the fresh fade you have and it will be a great distraction from the actual balding area. So definitely consider this hairstyle if you're losing hair or if you just simply have thin hair. <laughs> Number four, take supplements. Supplements are your best friend when it comes to dealing with balding or just dealing with trying to make your hair thicker so that it reacts better when you're styling it. So what supplements should you take for your hair? Well the answer is you can go into a lot of supplements but the simplest and the easiest and the most popular one is Biotin. Biotin is known to increase the elasticity of your scalp when you take it frequently so that that way your scalp and all the rest of the bodies on your hair they have more elasticity to open up and that allows for more hair growth. It helps you volumize your hairstyle and it also takes away the appearance that your hair is thin. It's a win-win situation, all natural, there's no harm to it. So if you're not doing anything, I highly recommend you at least jumping on Biotin and you'll start seeing results within three to four weeks and you should let me know what you think about it. Um, so all the products that I'm talking about are going to be listed and linked in the description below so you know feel free to check them out i made it easier for you by compiling all of them and putting them below i'm going to give you all the specific ones necessary that i know for sure are going to be working with you and our sixth and final tip is for our people who are balding or you're just showing too much scalp uh, with your hairstyle and you're not able to get the right amount of volume in the pump you need for your hair and that is to use hair building fiber so what is hair building fibers you may ask and the answer is topic uh, there are other brands that make it like kabuki i like both of them i just have topic for now they're great if you're insecure about your balding spots and you just want to cover them up it's basically just makeup for your head so you can go ahead and do this and just sprinkle it over your head and it will basically create an illusion as if you have hair in that area this is great if you're rocking a hairstyle that exposes too much scalp and what you can do after you're done styling the hair in the way that you want it with the right hair product and after you're done with that you can just sprinkle that onto your head and your bald spots will literally just disappear and there's no shame in using that just like how girls would use makeup to make themselves look better you just be using that to cover up a balding spot and there's nothing wrong with that but yeah these were my six styling tips for you and for your hairstyle if you have thin hair or if you're just balding over time and you still want to maintain a stylish hairstyle and you know overall just look good man so hopefully these tips helped you guys and let me know what you think about them in the comment section below if you guys did enjoy this video or found it helpful make sure to go ahead and give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already make sure to subscribe and also hit that notification bell so you don't miss any future videos here on Project Alpha. Other than that, thank you so much and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.